Companies keep getting richer despite the pandemic. The 100 list is available. The Financial Times listed these companies, which are mostly pharmaceutical tech giants and retailers. In number five, Tencent from China. Yes, we very afraid Americans. Well, thanks to them, you had the Fast and the Furious franchise. Number four, Tesla, the one that finally made work electric cars. Number three, Apple, the one with overpriced electronic products designed in California but assembled in a third world country. Number two, Microsoft, the creators of Windows, the Blue Screens, and Internet Explorer. And of course, the number one, Amazon, with $401 billion. Yes, this is the company that created a fund where it asked people's money to help their employees during the pandemic. Missing some companies? Of course, your beloved Facebook is there at number six, Netflix at number 12, and Zoom at number 15. Well, there are no excuses to keep growing. You can find the entire top 100 list in the link in the description, in case you want to keep suffering. Witch Hunt 2.0 Moral Superiority, Opportunism, and Cheesy Marketing The time for the Witch Hunt 2.0 has come. If you're a member of any social cause, parade, or sect, you are entitled to break any law and the name that 200 years ago someone did something wrong. Your message can include shootouts, steal iPhones, burn businesses, throw statues, or simply not wear a mask. Intelligent and profound actions that change the course of history and demonstrate how much intelligence we have now and how these social movements make their members role models that the future generations need. This of course might help if you're looking for some free publicity. If you're an actor or actress, you can show your support for a cause that you didn't know that existed. You can even do some pretty photo sessions as influencers did. As an active member of these movements, you can accuse others using old memories, tweets and videos, or promote your new streaming service or movie bragging about how inclusive you are, like HBO does. Excuse yourself for being an actor and represent something that you are not, which is what actors do. Like happened with The Simpsons. Even if no one cancel you yet, Alison Brie Halberry. I wonder who is going to play alien characters or assassins. The accusations must be done, of course, not in front of the justice, but through social media. Remember that you are the victim, even if you have to lie just like Amber Heard did, and hashtag me too and some media supported this. If you are a big company, don't forget to paint your logo with the social movement color of the week to please the witch hunters 2.0 and then you will be able to continue exploiting your employees and abusing your users as you prefer. That's the case of the ad boycott to Facebook, where many companies tried to make us forget how bad they are and had been in the past. Coca-Cola? Ask India about groundwater pollution. Microsoft? Did someone remember the Monopoly case? Or Pfizer? The drug test in Nigeria. But they fight against Facebook. Bad Facebook. Let's hope someday justice applies to everyone the same and don't justify violent actions behind a social movement, parade, politics, corpse, or sect. For the rest of us, knowledge is power, not violence. That's something I remember seeing in ancient leaders of social movements. And about the companies, don't worry. They will keep supporting it just until they realize that this doesn't help them to make more money or give them free publicity. The Karens now have their own doll. Will it become the new trend this Christmas? The doll comes with their famous I want to see the manager haircut, a gun, dressed with a purple jogging suit, and of course, without a face mask, just ready to go outside. With the tagline 2020 girl of the year, this is just a funny post by the Twitter user Adam the Creator. As usual, some minority felt offended, but that's the usual these days. The company mentioned in the fake promo just realized after criticism what is obvious, that it's just a joke, and retracted some intentions to take legal actions. The meme share is a spoof of their original set of dolls oriented to American audience with different professions and activities. The Comet Neowise will be visible to all hemispheres. Informally dubbed Neowise after the telescope, but officially labeled C-2020 F3, Neowise is an acronym for Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. It's said to be the brightest comet seen for a decade. 
Although already visible to the naked eye, the object is still faint and binoculars will offer a better view. We can see images now on social media from Russia, United Kingdom, United States, Mexico and of course the International Space Station. The comet's closest pass by Earth will be by July 23rd. Even at its closest distance, it will still be around 103 million kilometers away. In the northern hemisphere, the comet should be visible an hour before sunrise very low in the northeastern sky. Starting on July 17th, will be more visible in equatorial latitudes. You only need to look northwest after the evening twilight. As the month progresses, it will rise higher in the sky, moving from the constellation Lynx towards the Big Dipper. If you don't catch the comet, don't worry. It will come to Earth's vicinity in around 6,800 years from now. Tired of being at home? Now you can drive and listen radio around different countries. The developer Urcam created a simulator which, after selecting your favorite city from a list, allows you to just drive and listen to local radio stations. The list of cities goes from Amsterdam to Zurich and he keeps adding more cities to the list. If you want to drive and chill for a while, check the link in the description. You can also contribute with the project if you wish. MSI CEO has suddenly died after falling from a building. The Taiwanese company that manufactures laptops, graphic cards, motherboards and has sponsored many events worldwide mentioned in a recent statement we don't know what happened exactly other than he fell to his death. It's reported that security cameras saw him walking up to the seventh floor of the building alone. Shortly afterward, security guards heard a crash in the car park. Upon investigating, they found him lying in the car park. An ambulance was called, but Charles Chang sadly passed away after arriving at the hospital. He was promoted to this position in January 2019 after running their desktop platform business division. He was 56 years old and he was with MCI for over 20 years. His fall has been investigated by the Taiwan police since. According to the family, Charles had no reason to commit suicide. The option of a homicide is being considered. The new version of WhatsApp will include animated stickers, QR codes, among other improvements. The official blog of WhatsApp confirms that with the upcoming updates, they will be rolling out animated stickers grouped in packs, QR code to easily add contacts instead of typing, dark mode for the web and desktop, improvements to group video calls. The status updates will be available in KaiOS, so be sure to keep your app updated. This is all this week. Sorry for the delay, but remember that we are on beta stage. You can also watch all the episodes in our channels on YouTube and Instagram or listen to the podcast using Spotify, Google Podcasts or SoundCloud. They are available in English and Spanish. See you on the next episode. We also launch a new video called 5 Features That Instagram Needs to Fix in our YouTube channel. Soon will be available in Spanish and Instagram TV. This is Rash for Remantle.